but there are also some key differences. While both studies showed increased gamma, the Estonian study found that this increase persisted even after cardiac arrest, specifically in terms of relative gamma power. This wasn't observed in the rodent studies. Additionally, the way different brainwave frequencies interact seems to differ. I've read also that in the rodent brains, delta, theta, and alpha waves modulated low gamma activity after cardiac arrest. However, in the human brain, it's the alpha waves that predominantly drive the modulation across all gamma bands, even after the heart stopped. This interplay between alpha and gamma is very it interesting. It is, especially considering that alpha waves are typically associated with a relaxed yet awake state and are thought to suppress irrelevant brain activity. Gamma waves, on the other hand, are linked to conscious perception, focus, and memory retrieval. The strong coupling between these two during the dying process might explain the reported phenomenon of a life review. It's like the alpha waves are quieting the noise of the external world.